this is cool out there consultation, Shane McCurry, who works with us, has got a role down there at Richmond and I was really keen to take the leaders away and spend some time with what I feel is a strong leadership group down there at Richmond and yeah, it opened the door for us to, to head down there and, and see what they do. They're a really group to coach um, and I can see that the similarities in this room, so thanks for having us. It was really nice to go and check out their facility sit in on a few of their meetings. Other than that, uh, we can learn as much as we can up here and hopefully we can return a favour and uh, hopefully you guys learn, learn some things of us too. So, excited to be here, thanks for having us. Just have a yarn about their success that they've had over the last four years and what they put that down to and share a bit of our experience here at Redfern and collaborate on different and new ideas and learn as much as we could, so it was, yeah, it was, it was good fun. Control the ball, get some space, kick it forward. Great, good result. <laughs> yeah, it was different, that's for sure. I suppose me being new, I'm in a leadership role, and, and being able to spend time with the leaders at this club and see what they're about and also to go down and you know see how another code sort of goes about their work and uh, their leadership roles and how they go about things and I uh, really love the experience and you know very grateful that I was a part of that. So Richmond Tigers are signed up for five years. People think about the Richmond Tigers, they think about premierships. I think when we think about them at South, we think about shared values and a shared story and Richmond are deeply entrenched in their community as we are. They've got a really proud Indigenous heritage. And so there's so many things that we share that we have in common. And that's always meant some level of engagement between the footy clubs. And um, it all came together during COVID as did so, so many different relationships. But we were fortunate to host the Tigers here at Redfern Oval to bring them into our home. Uh, they did a training session here. They learned about Redfern, learned about the history of our club. and. That was the genesis of a much bigger relationship between our player groups, but also between footy management, between our coaches. Makes sense. I was going to go through our attack process, but this will be. I think if everyone has a mentality of making good choices based on what the team needs them to do on and off the field, I think we can be a pretty powerful force. We've had a reasonable amount of success here at the club, but you know we we haven't sort of got that ultimate prize that we've all been working for, so. It's great to hear some different perspectives and hopefully that helps us in building what we want to build here to win that premiership at the end of the year. Obviously very grateful and, and thank you to the Richmond Tigers for having us. It was you know, once a, sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to go and and study, no, not study, but observe how a different code and how different people go about things. So it was very enjoyable and something that, um, you know, I hold on to and take a lot of lessons and um, learn from it. I'm big on player driven culture and the players are starting to really understand that and the, and the power that's in that. And uh, I think that's the, the final little piece we need to, to get ourselves to the level we, we want to get to. But it's a journey and that uh, going down to Richmond was probably the start of the 23 journey and we're looking forward to building from there. Apparently, Benny Hornby and Johnny Morris, Bomber, were telling me I got a rap from Jack Rewalt, my kicking technique, so I'll take that any day of the week. Thanks, Jack, much appreciated, mate. And I think I'll stick to rugby league, but because those balls are so much different, no grip on them, just have to get the sticky spray out and, and do my best. <laughs>